Aloha, beautiful souls, and welcome to Transform with Ryan. And for today's Pick a Card Tower reading, we are going to answer the question, what are you not seeing and how to move forward? So the intention of this video is to transform this situation that you are feeling stuck in, where you are feeling uninspired, where you are feeling like kind of lost and confused. We're going to transform that energy and we're going to receive some clarity here. Okay, we're going to receive that missing piece of information to help us move forward on a very aligned path that we feel very motivated, that we feel good about on. All right. So go ahead and close your eyes, center your energy here for this reading. Take a few deep breaths in and out, in and out. And whenever you are ready, go ahead and open your eyes and pick one of these three cards here based on the color. Okay, look at the color and see which color really captures your attention. We have this green heart card here, we have this pink card in the middle, and we have this like light blue card on the end here. So go ahead and make your choice, and I will see you at your reading. Timestamps and chapter markers are below. Hey there, Star Fam. Welcome to your reading. For those of you that were drawn to this lovely green color, and the word on the top says manifestation. All right. So before we get into your reading, let me know where you're tuning in from. As some of you may know, I am here in Bali, Indonesia, which is like a very magical place to really connect with spirit and do some creative work. I'm here with my amazing True Alignment team, and we're pulling together some wonderful ideas and helping um, with creating these programs and even a retreat to help people step into their power, to help people shine their light, build that confidence, move past the fears, and claim their amazing destiny. And I'm just loving the energy here. So where are you at? What's the energy like where you are at? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. So let's get into your reading. Your card says manifestation. If you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? Get specific and get greedy. You are holding a magic wand and you can conjure up anything. <laughs> Could it be that when you declare your wishes out loud, you're actually casting a spell for your dreams to come true? Or is it just that, in a very practical sense, the more people you speak with about your desires, the more folks there are who know what you want and might have the means to help you make them happen. Either way, stop waiting and start manifesting. But don't use that word if you don't want to. So what I'm hearing on uh, something that you're not seeing here is that you are actually limiting yourself in some way, okay? I'm, I'm seeing here that there's this subconscious belief that you cannot have it all. There's this subconscious belief that you are being greedy if you ask for too much, okay? And so what's happening here is it's kind of like what you're not seeing is in some way, shape, or form, you are selling yourself short, okay? You you know, it's kind of like you're saying, you know, I want to eat that whole pie, but instead you're saying, oh, I'll just take this tiny little sliver for myself, okay? So it's it's that you're not really being true to your desires and your wants. And so it's like you're sending out mixed signals to the world, to the universe, to your angels, your guides, to God, source, whatever. It's like, you know, you're saying you want one thing, but deep down in your heart, either that's not all you want or you want something else. So there's this element of um, clarity that's missing here, okay? The card says, get specific. So you're not being specific enough. You're not being true enough. And it's, again, it's because of some conditioning or some belief that you can't have it. Okay, like a lot of people, they say, oh, I want to be rich. And yet here they are. They aren't rich. And why is that? It's because they don't believe 
that they can be rich. They don't believe they deserve to be rich and they're not taking the actions to help them be rich. Okay, because, you know, they're not taking the action because they don't believe in it enough, right? Like, if you really want something, you're going to do something. You're going to go for it. Trust. Trust and believe. If, like, you know, if I really want to eat fried chicken, you best believe I'm going to get in my car, get my legs up, and go get me some chicken. Like, if you really want something, you're going to get it. And you know that to be true. If you are very clear, you're very determined, you're very adamant that this is what you want, you know exactly this is it, you will go for it. So that's what's missing here in your journey right now. This is why you're stuck. It's because you're not allowing yourself to be clear and be greedy and really state, this is what I want, okay? So there has to be some honesty here. Um, that has to be expressed about what you truly want. All right. So let's pull some fortune cards here to get a better sense of like what you're not seeing. Okay. What's going on? What what else could you be missing? What elements do we need to be aware of here? Okay. Wow. These cards are jumping out. I haven't used them that much in the past month. And so I feel like they're just ready to be active, ready to be involved, and I welcome that energy. So, okay, let's see what we got that kind of jumped out here. So first we have angel, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. So here you go. There's this fear that something bad is going to happen if you get what you want. Something bad is going to happen if you go full out, if you go all out and go for it when you take this action. There's this fear that you're going to be harmed. Something bad's going to happen and you're not you're forgetting that you have angels and guides, God, source, universe all protecting you, okay? There's a reason why you have this passion, this desire within you for something because you're meant to have it, okay? That's the, that's the low down dirty about it. It's like, you're meant to have it. That's why you have this feeling and this desire. Dog, close up. Oh my God, look at this dog's hair. It is like so on point. Pleasure with a close friend. Mm. Okay, this is a very specific message here for some of you. What I'm getting is that some of you are really crushing on somebody. And you're afraid to say something about it and do something about it because maybe you feel like you're in the friend zone, right? That, that your relationship can't be something more than a friendship, all right? <clears throat> and what I'm hearing is by believing that, you're already kind of taking yourself out of the game. Like you're already saying that this isn't a possibility and you're not giving it a chance, Okay, and it's like regardless of the outcome, you have these feelings for a reason and these feelings are meant to be expressed. Okay, um, you know, sometimes we don't really understand the full journey and the hows and the whys of things. Um, and all we have to do is just trust in the moment, trust in what's already there. Okay, and so in this instance, these feelings that you have for someone that you consider a friend and you want something more, um, they're there for a reason. They're meant to be expressed, all right? And what's the best that can happen? This friend can say, oh yeah, I feel the same way. I've, you know, I've had feelings for you in that regard and I'm so glad you said something because I was so nervous to say something, right? And the worst case scenario, which actually isn't that bad, it's definitely not the worst, is they could say, no, I don't feel the same way. Okay? And that gives you the answer. Now you know, you're like, okay, this person doesn't feel the same way about me, but perhaps we can continue our friendship. And now I can be open to loving someone else. I can be open to another person being the partner in my life, the person I'm meant to be with, okay? So you can open up that door for you to connect even more closely with the person you're meant to be, you know? Be with, excuse me. It's kind of like, you know, those people that they have to kiss all these frogs before they meet their Prince Charming, right? It's like, this is just the journey on the way to your love, on the way to your true soulmate, your true partner, your romantic partner. So it's about just taking the action with what's already there and not spending so much time in another timeline where it's like, you know, some undesirable outcome occurred, 
okay? Because that hasn't happened yet. Not in this timeline, not in this reality, okay? Does that make sense? So next here we have target, a goal-oriented person. So there we go. It's about that specificity. Like what is your target? What is your true goal? You know, I did an exercise with my students today um, and it was about finding your true target, finding your true goal. And it's about going deeper, asking yourself these questions to help you unearth the root of all your desires and why you want something so that you have that motivation and that understanding and you can move forward from there with that confidence, with that faith, with that trust. Next we have the fan, romance, celebration, party. Oh my God, there you go. See, there's this possibility here. Like anything is possible here. You don't know what the future holds, okay? You just don't know. And so instead of sitting there and like pondering and worrying and ruminating about the what if, 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 just go for it. Just do it. Okay? Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Ah, oh, there you go. So, you know, what you're not seeing is you are protected. You are being guided here. Okay? It's kind of like you know, what I'm seeing and what I'm sensing is you're holding yourself back for some reason, okay? So find out what that is. Why is it that you believe you can't have something? Why is it that you believe you can't have exactly what you want and you have to make these concessions? You have to compromise. You have to like, okay, like even though I know I deserve $20, I'm gonna settle for 15. Okay, like why is that? Why are you settling? What is going on here? All right? So you need to get specific on your manifestation and you need to know that you deserve it. You are worthy of it. That's what's missing. That's what you're not seeing is that you're cutting yourself short here. Okay? So let's find out like what do you got to do? What is the way forward here? How do you move forward? What's the next, next best step you can take? Okay, let's pull... Uh, magical spell card here to help us understand that next best step for you. All right, we have confidence. How appropriate. So this is how you're going to move forward. You're going to build that confidence. You're going to know this is meant for you. This is what you truly desire. No doubts in your mind whatsoever. So confidence. You can say this spell um, out loud with me. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. Let's do it again. By Earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn brighter. Oh, I burn higher, excuse me. So we're going to say it a third time because three is that magical number of creation and the spell will be cast. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. Beautiful, beautiful. Feel that energy now coming through for you helping you with that next step, building that confidence to go after your dreams, go for what you want. And we're going to pull a divine oracle card as well to show you some love from your angels, your guides, God, universe, source, whatever you choose to call these higher beings that watch over you. Let's get a message from them to inspire you and help you move forward. Positive change. It is time to change. Your current situation needs some adjustments. Choose to be positive. There you go. Don't get in that negative mindset. Be adventurous and do something new. Reinvent yourself. Ooh, ooh, I love that. You are not that person who settles for $15. You get that 20 bucks. You get that 100 bucks. You're not that person who's just in the friend zone, who cannot be anything more and cannot have a deeper relationship or a connection. You are that ideal soulmate, that ideal partner. That is who you are. All right, my loves. So there is your reading on what you are not seeing and how to move forward. 
Thank you for tuning in to your reading today, Star Fam. Make sure to like and comment down below what you are calling in from your reading today to begin the manifestation pathway to making it a reality. And of course, feel free to share this video with others and subscribe to this channel as well. Now, I'd like to extend a very special invitation to those of you that want to go beyond a general tarot reading. Specifically, if you want to learn how to align with your purpose and learn how to achieve your goals. So go to the description box down below and click on the link for an energy alignment session with me because on that call, we are going to come up with that personalized roadmap for you to align with your purpose and achieve your goals. I look forward to connecting with you there. And until next time, sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye. Hey there, Star Fam. Welcome to your reading here. For those of you that were drawn to this wonderful pink color, <laughs> let me know where you're tuning in from. I am here in Bali, Indonesia, and let me tell y'all, the energies here have been so mag magical, so transformative. Like There are some things coming up for me that need to be released, some difficult energies, but I know I'm in this very, very supportive environment, and, and I'm able to create and work with the amazing tree team here at True Alignment and we're running programs to help people grow and evolve and step into their power, be more confident, release these fears and these limiting thoughts. And we're doing it with this amazing program and we're also planning this enriching and nourishing healing retreat here in Bali. And oh my God, it's going to be so, so amazing. So Tell me where you're tuning in from. What's the energy like where you're at? Let me know. <laughs> so let's get into your reading, okay, loves? Let's find out what you're not seeing and how to move forward. So your card says abundance. Congratulations. It seems you're due for a little, scratch out, an infinitely big piece of abundance pie. Feel like you don't deserve it? Knock it off. It's already plated and ready to hit your table. Reluctant to take it? Shut your hole. Abundance pie is big enough to serve everyone. So get your whipped cream ready, unless you're lactose intolerant, and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert. So it is very, very clear to me here, my loves, that what you're not seeing and what you're not aware of fully is that you are in a scarcity mindset. You're in this mindset of lack, meaning your thought process here is there's not enough. And more importantly, there's not enough for you, okay? That you don't deserve to have more than what you think you should have, okay? So there's this mindset that you're having of not being worthy of receiving in abundance. There's this mindset or this limiting belief within you that's saying like, hey, if I take this much, that's going to leave less for other people. And that is not the energy. That is not the frequency of abundance. Okay. And if you really want to tune into abundance, you need to understand that there's always more than enough, that you are not taking too much when it comes to your dreams and your goals. All right. When it comes to this situation you're asking about, all right. So in this situation, the universe is like, hey, you can literally have more than what you think. All right. There is a lot here for you. There's extra. OK, like I feel like it's, you know, you're at the at somebody's house and someone made dinner and they're like, oh, help yourself. You can have a second serving like there's plenty. There's plenty go to go around. Don't be shy. Like take some more if you're hungry. Eat, you know, um, like it's like in the Filipino household. So, in, you know, Filipino culture, like we always feed people when they come over and we keep giving them more and more and more, you know, it's just like the way that Filipinos show love. And that's how we welcome people into our home, into our life is like, eat, eat, have some more, have some more. And so, you know, if you're like me and you sometimes enjoy eating some delicious food, like you don't know when to stop. <laughs> and so, and you know, the Filipino house is like, kain ka na, kain ka na. it's like, eat already, you eat already, come on, just do it, it's okay. <laughs> and so that's what's happening here. The universe is like, take, take, come on, keep taking, like, we still got more left, like, someone's got to take this, why can't it be you, all right? So that's what's coming through with this energy here. 
Now let's get some tea leaf fortune cards to get some more insight on what you're not seeing. There we go, we got some jumpers. And this deck today has been so full of energy. Okay, that's good, wow, we have a good amount already. Um, and I'm so thrilled. I love when the cards jump out and go wild for the reading because the energy is like there and it has so much to share with you. So we have bag. Something important, such as a new job or a raise. Oh, hey, so this, you're not seeing this. You're not seeing this opportunity here that's right in front of you that, hey, you are qualified, you are deserving for a new job or a raise, okay? You're in this mindset of like, oh, like, I don't think I should, or I can't do it, or I haven't been here at this company long enough. Like, your, your mind is like making excuses as to why you don't deserve this, but you do. You do. You've proven yourself. Hills, obstacles to overcome. This obstacle is your limiting mindset, your limiting beliefs, okay? Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, your reality is a reflection of who you really are, what you really believe of yourself. So when you believe that you deserve little or less than, that's what you get. All right, that's what you get. The universe, God sees it like, okay, well, this person only wants, you know, $15. So if $15 is what's going to make them happy, great, we'll give them $15, right? But really, deep down inside, you know you're worth $20. You know you're worth more than whatever, you know, your mind is telling you. So own that. Embrace that, okay? Um... Funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Okay, that's what's going on here. So the reason why you're feeling stuck, the reason why you're getting frustrated right now is because you're just, you're meant to see right here in this moment, you're meant to see the ways in which you're limiting yourself, the ways in which you're saying like, okay, this is what I should get, nothing more, nothing less. Okay, and really there's something more, right? There's something more that you can have here. That's the truth that you need to embrace, okay? Like people who are successful, people who are making millions of dollars, do you think, honestly, do you think that they were like, oh, I should just make $100,000. That's it. I'm good, right? No. They were like, yo, I want a million dollars. I want to be a millionaire. That's what they believe they're worth. That's what they believe they can achieve. That's what they know they wanted. So they went for it, you know? The person who makes a million dollars, their mindset is not a $100,000 mindset. I'm going to say that again because that was really powerful. The person who's making a million dollars, their mind is not a $100,000 mindset. Okay? Let that simmer. Let that stew in your brain. All right? The person who's in a loving relationship who is receiving this care and affection from their partner, they're not thinking, I'm not worthy. They're not thinking, I don't deserve love. No. Okay, that's not what's going on in their mind. So what else we got? Vase, secret admirer. Ooh, okay, that's something interesting here. So some of you, you know, you're in that scarcity mindset of like, I'm not enough, like no one's gonna love me. And what you don't know is there's someone who is crushing on you, hardcore, okay? And so <clears throat> while you're here, feeling bad about yourself, feeling down on yourself, someone is like chomping at the bit to like love you, all right? But because you're not open to love, you're not open to receiving love for yourself, you're closing it off, okay? And so open yourself to love. Start by loving yourself. Start believing that you're worthy of love and allow the secret and admirer to reveal themselves. Oh my gosh. Okay, someone wants to love you. Um, I just heard that song like by Ina J. Let me love you down. Baby, it feels so good. Let me love you down. Oh my God, I love that. I should listen to that song after this. <laughs> okay, what else we got here? 
Beetle, good fortune. Like, dang, look at all these amazing cards that are coming through for you here. We got something important, new job or raise, secret admirer, good fortune, obstacles you're overcoming, lessons you're learning, like my goodness. Look at all this abundantly good energy coming through for you. Good fortune, good fortune. You gotta believe you're worth it. You gotta believe that the universe wants to give you a blessing that the universe wants to shower you with attention, with love, with wealth. You got to believe it. You got to believe it, okay? Because no one else can do this for you. I can believe you're worth it, all I want to like the infinity power, infinity degree, but it's not going to happen for you because you need to believe it, all right? And that's one of the key things that I try to impress upon my students is like, I am your coach, I can be your teacher, your guide, your mentor, and I can share with you what I know to be true, but you have to believe it to be true for yourself, okay? So lastly, we got carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. So I'm sensing here a lot of this is mental. You're going on this journey, you're going on this evolution, right? It's sort of this metaphorical journey that you're going on to really stepping into your true self, to really step into this worthiness and embracing and honoring and being like, heck yeah, this is who I am. Heck yeah, this is what I want. Heck yeah, this is what I deserve, okay? You're stepping into that space. So you're on this journey now. You're in the midst of it, whether you knew it or not, okay? There's GPS. GPS says you are here in the middle of this journey to building your confidence and self-worth. So continue on this path. Move forward. See the obstacles, see the detours, and move through it, work through it, keep going. So how to move forward, okay? Let's see what specifics we can get on how to move forward beyond this um, kind of stuck energy. So let's start with this magical spell card and you're gonna say the spell with me. What do we got here? Magical powers, ooh. So you have the ability to create your reality, believe that. So say this with me, we're gonna say it three times so that we can lock in that creationary magical energy with the number three. I weave and clear, I cast and know. Magic's secrets to me now show. I weave and clear, I cast and know. Magic's secrets to me now show. And one more to lock it in, one more for the road. I weave and clear, I cast and know. Magic's secrets to me now show. So after casting this spell, in the moments immediately following it, or as you go about the rest of your day, as you lay down and dream, you will receive this stroke of insight and this secret will be revealed so that you can begin to know. You can get clear and know what it is that you need to do next here, okay? Because all these opportunities are here. You just have to take one small step, one small action to get the ball rolling. The ball is in your court. It's time for you to take that one step and it is going to be clear to you now, clear to you very, very sh soon, very shortly. So let's get a final message from God, universe, source, higher self, guardians, guides, whatever you believe in. Let's get a final message from the divine oracle to help you move forward now. Healing. You may need a break from your busy life. Are you ignoring a sign from above? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Stop and feel. It's time to pay attention to your body's needs. What do you need? What do you want? What is it that you need? It's time to ask for the divine's help. There you go. Ask for the help and you shall receive it. All right, my loves, there you go. Those are your messages to help you find out what it is you're not seeing and how to move forward. Thank you for tuning in to your reading today, Star Fam. Make sure to like and comment down below what you are calling in from your reading today to begin the manifestation pathway to making it a reality. And of course, feel free to share this video with others and subscribe to this channel as well. Now, I'd like to extend a very special invitation 
to those of you that want to go beyond a general tarot reading. Specifically, if you want to learn how to align with your purpose and learn how to achieve your goals. So go to the description box down below and click on the link for an energy alignment session with me because on that call we are going to come up with that personalized roadmap for you to align with your purpose and achieve your goals. I look forward to connecting with you there and until next time sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye! Hey there, Star Fam! Welcome to your reading. For those of you that were drawn to this beautiful light blue color and the images here on this card, let me know where you're tuning in from before we get into your reading. I am here in Bali, Indonesia, as some of you may know. And let me tell you, the energy here is so amazing, so transformative. Like, things are coming up that are ready to be released, so it hasn't been all rainbows and sunshine. But I know in this energy here, I am fully supported and I've been able to really connect and create with the True Alignment team here. And we have a brilliant program that we're running right now to help people, you know, shine their light, go past their fears, embrace their confidence and their purpose. And not only that, we've been like brainstorming and coming up with this beautiful retreat that we're going to offer to people here later this year. And we cannot wait to get to meet some of the people in our community, in our network and guide them through this very healing, transformative retreat. So let me know where you're tuning in from. Where is, like, what is the energy like where you're at? <laughs> All right, so let's get into your reading, yeah? Shall we? Let's find out what you're not seeing and how to move forward. So we have joy. And it says here, to enjoy something, I simply need to add joy to it. Joy is like butter. I can put it on anything and it'll make it way better. <laughs> Today, I will add joy to everything. Really slather it on. And today, I am the Orville Redenbacher of joy. So for those of you that don't live in the U.S. or don't have this um, popcorn, microwave popcorn in your um, home country, Orville Redenbacher is like a popcorn brand in the U.S. Um, you put the little popcorn bag in the microwave and you get popcorn after like a couple minutes. <clears throat> the last statement here is, and life's popcorn is about to get it. <laughs> so what I'm seeing here is the reason why you're stuck is because you are focusing on the negative. You're focusing on the things that aren't working for you. You're focusing on the bad. Okay. And one important thing that you need to know right here, right now is where focus goes, energy flows, results show. So the more you focus on bad things, the more energy the bad things have and the bigger the bad things become, okay? So it's like, you know, that self-fulfilling prophecy kind of energy, right? If you believe something bad's going to happen, well, guess what? Something bad will happen. But the opposite is true. When you believe in good things happen, happening, when you believe in a positive outcome, that is what you're feeding. That is what you're creating in your life is more positivity, more good things, okay? And what I'm sensing here for you is that maybe right now in your specific situation, it's hard to find the joy. It's hard to find the positive in it because things are just so tough and you're just really in the thick of things. You're in the midst of this storm and this chaos and it's really hard for you to see that light beyond it, okay? So one trick, one technique that you can do to kind of take this step-by-step -step process towards seeing the positive in your situation is just finding any type of joy in your life right now, okay? So maybe there's a situation at work that is really troubling you and stressing you the F out and you can't find the joy in it, you can't find the reasoning in it, you can't find the solution, the light at the end of the tunnel, that's okay for now. Instead, do something that brings you joy. Okay, you just need to tap into that energy and allow the floodgates to open, allow that energy to flow into other areas of your life. So if you cannot figure out this work situation just yet, do something that brings you joy. Dance, sing, paint, 
watch a funny movie, go for a walk, take a nice soothing bath, play with your kids, go on a date, do something fun, do something that brings joy. And as you're collecting and basking in this joyous energy, let me tell you, you're going to be shocked at how you're going to start to see the way out of your other situation, the way through it, okay? And this joy energy is really infectious, okay? And that energy will start to rub off on the people around you, and they're going to start to feel lighter. They're going to start to see these positive outcomes and these positive possibilities for the way forward, okay? So what you're not seeing right now is the joy in the situation, and you need to reconnect with that joy energy. You've been in this negative, lower vibrational frequency for a bit too long, and so you've lost touch, you've lost connection with joy. So to reconnect with it, call it in. Do something joyful, do something fun, do something that makes you happy, all right? Let's get some more insight here on what you're not seeing. Oh my gosh, okay, we gotta pick that up. That was like fourth of the deck. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Wow, wow, okay. These cards are so jumpy today and I love it because that means they really have a lot of messages to share with you and they're excited to share it. So let's get some more information on what you're not seeing here, okay guys? Boat, money or property, through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Ooh, so what I'm hearing with this card actually is that many of you, you already have a lot of blessings in your life. You already have a lot of reasons to be happy, right? Whether it's your health, whether it's the fact that you have money to pay your bills, get food, put food on the table for you, right? Go do a little activity, treat yourself to something. The fact that you have a job, the fact that you have people that care about you, the fact that you have internet access to watch this video. Like there's already things that are in your life that you can be grateful for, that you can be happy that you have, okay? And next here we have carrot opportunity or windfall. We have the word windfall twice. So what I'm hearing here is that something is trying to make its way through to you, some kind of blessing, some kind of opportunity, some kind of good thing, but because you're stuck in this neg negative energy and this like, like unhappy energy, it's like it can't connect, you know? It's, it's like like attracts like. So there's this joyous thing that wants to really connect with you, but you're repelling it with your negative energy and you're pushing it away, right? It's like someone is, it's kind of like someone is like, hey, I want to help you. Like, what can I do to help? And you're like, no, I don't want your help. Leave me alone. I don't want that, right? And then it's like, hey, but I, I know I can help you. I know I can make things easier, or better for you. No, 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 no. Get away from me. I don't want that. Leave me alone, right? It's like that. That's kind of what's happening in this universal energy dynamic right now, okay? So the more grumpy you are, the harder it is for something good and happy and joyous to come into your life. And we have coins, cha-ching! Money will be coming to you. Oh my gosh, so if you are in that mindset of like, oh, I don't have enough money, I'm so broke, I'm so poor, if that's the things you keep saying to yourself, you're gonna, you're gonna believe it. You're going to believe that that's true, that you're always going to be broke, you're always going to be poor, and then you're never going to be rich, okay? Millionaires, that's not how they think. Millionaires don't think, oh, I'm so broke, I'm so poor. That's not how you become a millionaire. That's not how you become rich, okay? I'm going to tell you straight up, right here, right now, that is not how you become rich. That's not how money is attracted to you when you keep saying and telling to yourself, I don't have enough. I'm broke. I'm poor. Money is hard to come by, right? So we need to change that energy. We need to change that attitude towards money. Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. Oh my goodness. So definitely there are some people that, you know, around you, maybe this could be you, no tea, no shade. <laughs> maybe this could be you that is just not seeing the bigger picture here, okay? And whether that's you, whether that's somebody else, um, they are going to need to get out of their mindset. And it might be you that has to show 
them the way. It might be you that has to lead by example here, okay? So that the energy can shift, the energy can move. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. Like, oh my goodness, like what is success, money, windfall, opportunity, all these good words coming through. So here is your chance to set the foundation, set the tone, okay? Do you want this shabby foundation here based on these like, you know, weak beliefs and this scarcity energy where it's like not enough, not enough, not enough. Or do you want this beautiful, tall, golden tower here? Okay, what foundation are you setting for yourself? What is this first layer that you're creating here in your life? Okay, is this something that can be nurtured and grown and expanded upon? Okay, you know, it's... Um, Building that foundation is so key. It all starts with you. It's like you set the tone for how this is going to play out. Okay, kind of like what I said. Where focus goes, energy flows, results show. Okay, so what is this foundation? What is this focus? What are you focusing on? Are you focusing on abundance? Or are you focusing on lack? Because this is what you're going to be nurturing moving forward. If you're focusing on lack, that's what you're going to be nurturing until you step out of that and decide to nurture something else. Lion, time to act. There you go. Time for a shift, time for a change in your thought process, in your mind, in your energy. Okay, let's see what, what exactly is going to help you move forward. How can you move forward? So you can access these higher timelines, these um, positive outcomes, these positive pathways, these blessings, this money, <laughs> this opportunity, this windfall. So we're going to cast a spell here to inspire you on how to move forward. So you can say this with me. We have good cheer. Oh my God, how appropriate. We have the joy card. We have the good cheer. Okay, so step into that positive energy. What kind heart and humor, oh, sorry, not what, with. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> with kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule, so mote it be. Okay, we've got to say it three times because three is that power of creation and calling things into existence. With kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule, so mote it be. My gosh, how can you not say this without smiling and tapping into that joy already? With kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule, so mote it be. Mm, yes. So I want you to realize, loves, that in every single moment you have a choice. You have a choice to keep doing what you're doing and keep getting what you're getting, or you have the choice to shift. You have the choice in this moment to change and, and have a different outcome, have a different timeline. Okay. So what are you going to choose? What are you going to choose, star fam? All right, let's pull a divine oracle card here for you, my loves. And this will be a message of encouragement, of love and support here on how to move forward from your angels, guides, guardians, God, universe, source, whatever you call this higher power in your life. You have purification. Purify your body and energy from toxic environments, habits, relationships, or situations. Detoxify your body. The simplest way is to take a bath with sea salt. It can help you detoxify physically. Mmm, yes. And the sea salt can actually detoxify your energy, purify your energy. So it can help you with releasing some of this negativity that's been kind of part of your energy signature here lately. And then it will help you make it a lot easier to connect with that joy. So there you go, Star Fam. That's what you're not seeing and how to move forward. Thank you for tuning in to your reading today, Star Fam. Make sure to like and comment down below what you are calling in from your reading today to begin the manifestation pathway to making it a reality. And of course, feel free to share this video with others and subscribe to this channel as well. Now, I'd like to extend a very special invitation 
to those of you that want to go beyond a general tarot reading. Specifically, if you want to learn how to align with your purpose and learn how to achieve your goals. So go to the description box down below and click on the link for an energy alignment session with me because on that call, we are going to come up with that personalized roadmap for you to align with your purpose and achieve your goals. I look forward to connecting with you there. And until next time, sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye.